The proposed 10.5% property tax increase that was first discussed a couple of weeks ago remains a possibility even after the city's budget committee went through a fairly lengthy consultation process with the public. Only now, no final recommendations are actually being made. Instead, it's being left on the mayor's desk. There are a number of people who came forward to us at uh, uh, our, our public deputation nights and said, I, I need you to really do this, that and the other thing, and I'm prepared to pay this to get the city back on the right track. While it's not official, the city's budget chief says the proposed 10.5% property tax hike should remain on the table for consideration, with the caveat that Mayor Olivia Chow tries to improve affordability. What that means exactly, Torontonians will have to wait and see as the process to shape a $17 billion operating budget moves on. If we don't increase taxes in that range, uh, we will have to cut further in the services that people rely on to make Toronto a livable place. It's, there, there's no math where you improve services and cut taxes. It just doesn't work like that. There is a divide at City Hall, however, over how high that property tax increase should be and the ongoing rift with Toronto Police over the budget increase the service will receive. All indications are that councillors are split and there's a battle ahead. For me, for my community, improving community safety does mean giving the full ask to the Toronto Police that they're asking for and for improving affordability it means getting that tax rate under double digits. In the wake of the recommendations, the mayor said she had asked that the budget protect services while addressing the $1.8 billion shortfall and that she's committed to building a more affordable, caring and safe city. One service that will likely be saved is the city's $16 million windrow snow removal service. The $200 million requested from the federal government for refugee services has yet to be included. The outstanding matter is still there. The federal government uh, 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 has still not responded. So we still have that asylum seeker and refugee claimant shelter program need that is unfunded. The reason this has been left to the mayor, of course, you may remember that just over a year ago, the provincial legislation for strong mayor powers was passed. And so the budget committee takes its recommendation to Mayor Chow and she will have her say as of Thursday next week. Mark McAllister, City News.